Hi, I'm Siri. Welcome to Do Lunch Online. We're at the Frank H. McClung Museum located on the University of Tennessee campus in Knoxville, Tennessee. The presentation today is Geology and the Fossil History of Tennessee, Cambrian Period, 544 to 495 million years ago, or Davishan Period, 495 to 443 million years ago, Silurian Period, 443 to 417 million years ago, Devonian Period, 417 to 354 million years ago, Mississippian Period, 354 to 323 million years ago, Pennsylvanian Period, 323 to 290 million years ago, Cretaceous Period, 142 to 65 million years ago, Paleogene period, 65 to 24 million years ago. Neogene period, 24 million years to 10,000 years before present. Neogene period, Ice Age 24 million years to 10,000 years before present. A life-size replica of the skeleton of a Cretaceous mosasaur, a large extinct marine reptile, looms overhead. Greeting visitors to the Geology and Fossil History of Tennessee Gallery. Minerals make up more than 99% of all rocks. Minerals are naturally occurring, crystalline solids, with a distinct composition of elements and arrangement of atoms. These features give mineral crystals characteristic properties, including crystal form, color, luster, and hardness. The rock cycle the Earth's three major types of rocks, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic constantly change. They change from one type of rock to another on and below the Earth's surface. Both internal and surface processes cause these changes. From the Appalachian Mountains in the east to the coastal plain in the west, the distribution and variety of rocks reflect the complex geologic history of the state. The colors on the map represent the surface exposures of rocks of different ages. Specimens below the map are color key to it and to the geologic time scale. The geologic time scale, Earth history is divided into named intervals of geologic time which are recognized and correlated globally. The longer time intervals, Ian, Era, Period, are associated with major physical and or biological changes on Earth. For example, the extinction of groups of organisms. The geological history of Tennessee is as complex and varied as the history of its human inhabitants. At the surface, rocks range in age from about 650 million years in the Smoky Mountains to clay and sand that are just now being deposited in rivers and lakes across the state. Each rock has a story to tell. By studying fossils in sedimentary rocks, Geologists can piece together the changes in Tennessee's ancient environments over more than 500 million years. Cambrian period, 544 to 495 million years before present. The first appearance of abundant marine animals with mineral skeletons distinguishes the Cambrian period. However, at the beginning of Cambrian time, many animals lacked mineral skeletons and there are fossils occur only in very fine, grain sedimentary rocks. In North America, the Cambrian was a time of rising sea levels, which caused shallow oceans to cover large areas that previously were dry land. Or Davishan period, 495 to 443 million years before present. Marine life diversified during Or Davishan time, and most of the major marine animal phyla, Groups based on body plants, seen today existed then. North America was located in the tropics from about 495 to 480 million years ago. Sea level was very low, and the warm climate caused high rates of evaporation, leading the shallowing oceans in Tennessee to warm and too salty. For most marine life, sea level continued to fall and large areas of limestone became dry land, similar to modern-day central and southern Florida. Silurian period, 443 to 417 million years before present. 
subsequent sea level rose. Following the melting of Ordovician glaciers, the southeastern margin of North America became an area of shale and quartz sandstone deposits. Active waves and currents made the sandy sea floors in East Tennessee difficult places for many animals to survive. The most common fossils in those rocks are the traces left by burrowing worms and by crawling trilobites. In Middle Tennessee, limestone environments hosted diverse communities of marine invertebrates animals. In East Tennessee, rocks equivalent in age to limestone in Middle Tennessee were eroded away during a time of crustal uplift. Marine conditions returned throughout eastern North America at about 360 million years ago. But most bottom-dwelling animals could not survive in the low-oxygen environment of the seafloor. Animals that lived in the overlying waters, such as fish and cephalopods, comprise most fossils in these black, organic-rich shales. Devonian period, 417 to 354 million years before present. Corals, crinoids, brachiopods, and other marine invertebrates occupied the seafloor of Middle Tennessee. Specimens, such as the large, unusual crinoid, cephocrinites, and finally, detailed, trilobites from other states, illustrate life in Tennessee during this time. Fossils of fish are the earliest vertebrate. Animals with backbones, remains found in Tennessee. They are also very rare. Mississippian period. 354 to 323 million years before present. The Mississippian period saw a rise in sea level and a return to well-circulated, oxygen-rich marine environments. Broad expanses of limestone, dominated by marine fossils, including bryozoans, brachiopods, shark's teeth and abundant crinoid remains, characterized large regions of North America including all of Tennessee. Sharks have skeletons of cartilage, not bone, only their teeth, composed of the mineral, appetite, are commonly preserved. Blastoids feature a bud-shaped enclosure, which contains the vital organs, slender arm, like brachioles to help collect food, and a stalk, which attach them to the seafloor. Blastoids are all extinct, flowery in appearance, Crinoids are animals, attached to the ocean floor. They feed on organic matter suspended in the water, using their feathery arms to move food towards the mouth. These beautiful specimens show the arms, calyx or head, and stem. A diverse community of animals on the shallow, limey, sea floor characterizes life of this time in Middle and East Tennessee. Pennsylvanian period. 323 to 290 million years before present. The large continent Gondwana collided with North America during this time. This collision, perhaps the greatest in the history of the Earth, caused tilting, folding, and faulting of rocks from New England to Alabama, producing the structures of the present-day Appalachian Mountains. Massive erosion of the mountains began. Rivers carried enormous amounts of sand mud depositing it at their mouths to form deltas located in the present Cumberland Plateau of Middle Tennessee. Sea level and coastlines changed frequently due to growth and melting of Gondwana glaciers. North America still occupied latitudes near the equator. The warm climate and the moist flood plains and deltas provided habitats for abundant land plants. During periods of high rainfall, Rivers overflowed their banks and sediment buried large amounts of plant debris, much of which now is preserved as coal. Swamp forests included many large trees, such as Lepidodendron, as well as smaller trees like Sigillaria and viney plants like Sphenophyllum. Ferns had leaves similar to those of today, but some reproduced by a seeds, not spores. The warm, moist environment also hosted many insects and amphibians. A wonderful array of plants occupied the moist flood plains and deltas of Tennessee. These plants exist today as coal, and a few from Tennessee and other states as finely detailed fossils. The rapid burial of plants prevented their decay, 
resulting in an increase in atmospheric oxygen. This allowed insects to grow to large sizes. The moisture loving amphibians also inhabited these environments. Cretaceous period 142 to 65 million years before present. Sea level rose for the last time to cover large areas of North America, and by about 90 million years ago, a wide seaway divided the continent. Sediments within the seaway included abundant fossiliferous limestone along the shores, including parts of what is now West Tennessee. Quartz sand and clays were locally more common. On the land, plants and animals lived in a warm temperate to tropical climates and dinosaurs probably roamed throughout North America. However, land-dwelling animals are less likely to be buried rapidly and preserved than those in the oceans. Many Cretaceous dinosaur fossils from eastern North America are found as scattered bones in marine sedimentary rocks, probably the result of bloated rotting carcasses floating out to sea from flooded rivers. Numerous episodes of uplift and mountain building in western North America created conditions of rapid deposition that successfully buried many dinosaurs in their nesting areas. Thus, most North America dinosaur fossils come from the west. Dinosaurs and other large-bodied reptiles became extinct at the end of the Cretaceous, as did many marine species. Paleogene period 65 to 24 million years before present. Maximum extent of the Eocene Sea across the southeastern United States approximately 50 million years before present. During the Paleogene, mammals, which had existed as long as the dinosaurs, evolved rapidly to occupy ecological niches vacated by extinct reptiles, initiating the age of mammals, angiosperms. The flowering plants so abundant today originated in the Cretaceous and also diversified. Sea level fell rapidly between 70 and 60 million years ago. Sediments with abundant marine fossils are common in some areas of the Gulf and Atlantic coast, but in Tennessee, Paleogene rocks are not very fossil rich. An important exception is the very fine grain clay stones found near per year, Henry County. In West Tennessee, those rocks preserve delicate remains of many land plants shown here, including leaves, seeds, and even flowers. The abundant, smooth, edged leaves suggest a warm, moist climate. Chemical and fossil evidence from other parts of the world also indicate very warm climates about 55 million years ago. However, by about 40 million years ago, Global climate cooled as Australia and South America became farther separated from Antarctica, allowing glaciers to begin to form. Neogene period, 24 million years to 10,000 years before present. The Gracite, a Miocene, Pliocene, age, fossil deposit in Washington County, Tennessee, represents an ancient lake, perhaps, in a sinkhole. Numerous animals came to this watering hole, and some were trapped in the mud and buried. Some animals found at the gray site, such as turtles, alligators, and turkeys still survive in North America. Others, including rhinoceros and tapirs, no longer exist on this continent. Tapirs, now common in tropical South America, migrated there only in the last 5 million years, after the Isthmus of Panama formed connecting North and South America. The Gray Fossil Site, discovered in Washington County, Tennessee during highway construction in 2000, has yielded a variety of animal and plant fossils from the time not well known in Tennessee. The site represents a unique opportunity to study the entire ecology of a particular habitat in the past. Continents, climates, and life forms increasingly similar to those of today mark the Neogene period. Grasses, a very specialized group of flowering plants, appearing about 50 million years ago, multiplied greatly during the Neogene. Many mammals evolved tall, flat-topped molar teeth that allowed them to eat the highly abrasive, silica-rich grasses. Herb-like plants provided abundant food for browsing herb herbivores with shorter, cusped molars. 
Neogene period, known as the Ice Age was 24 million years to 10,000 years before present. The Pleistocene epoch, commonly called the Ice Age, was a time of dramatic climate change, especially in the Northern Hemisphere, over large areas of the Northern continents. Huge sheets of ice advanced, then melted and retreated four times, the last ending only about 10,000 years ago. During glacial times, cooler climates extended far to the south. This is documented by the distributions of both animal and plant fossils. Fossil pollen grains from Anderson Pond, White County, in Middle Tennessee, showed that local trees were mostly spruce, firm and northern pines until about 12,000 years ago. Since that time, the present-day warmer climate trees of the Oak Hickory Forest have dominated. Animal life in North America included some species, still living, but also mastodons and mammoths, elephants, giant wolves, saber-toothed cats, giant beavers, and other large mammals that are now extinct. The Great Ice Sheets of Pleistocene Glaciers never reached Tennessee, but lower mean annual temperatures prevailed during times of glaciation. Those climate conditions promoted the growth of forests dominated by northern species of trees, now seen only in Canada. The center of the gallery includes many fossils and casts of dinosaur remains, including the only dinosaur bones found in Tennessee, and a collection of authentic dinosaur eggs from China. Casts of dinosaur skulls and footprints give an additional feeling to these amazing animals. Theropod footprint. Phylum chordata. Class Retilla. Original from Glenrose Formation, Central Texas Early Cretaceous Period, I 110 million years ago. The footprint, made in a soft marine mud near the shore of the shallow sea, is part of a trackway of several footprints. The shape, size, and claw impressions indicate a theropod dinosaur, a two-legged, meat-eater, based on its features, and on bones found nearby. The track is attributed to Acrocanthosaurus, a medium-sized, dinosaur, Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Mississippian, Pennsylvanian, Cretaceous, Paleogene, Neogene, Neogene Ice Age, the geology and fossil history of Tennessee.